Hello everybody, it is I, Lurshins the Great and Powerful. Um, time for another construction tutorial once again. This time I figured we'd take a step back, do something a little more simplistic. Figured, you know, sometimes a nice and simple design is all that you really need. But you know, if you don't like the hyper simplicity of this design, you can always do something a little more complex if you like. Really, I think the good thing about this pattern is that you can do just about anything you want with it, and it'll look nice. So yeah, let's let's find out how to make this lovely sort of triangle circle hybrid thing. All right, so first of all, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a relatively large, don't know how large, maybe, let's go with eight centimeters, and we'll just start at any old point and go around like that. And then we'll pop off over here, make ourselves another point, draw an arc like so, and then we'll come at the intersection of those points, make sure we get right on there, and make ourselves yet another circle segment. Alright, just like that. Now what you're going to do is, let me grab my ruler here, and we're going to go from that point to that point, aka we are finding the center of this triangle. This is the triangle that's going to show up at the end, by the way, just letting you know. So in order to find the center of this triangle, what we're going to do is we're going to come from these little oval eye shapes, whatever you want to call them. We're going to go right through the middle, and, you know, I didn't get the full eye shape over here, so I think real quick, I'm just going to pull through like that. And bring another one down there, just like that. And right through the middle, and we have the center of our triangle. Perfect. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the corner, or all three corners of this triangle. You're going to want to take a small length. Now, it doesn't really matter how small, but, I don't know, one centimeter is probably good if you're doing a eight centimeter side length. And you're just going to go and make a arch of a circle starting at the corner that just goes through the triangle. And you're going to want to go and do that on all three sides just like so, and one last one up the top there. All right, now what you're gonna do is on each of these big eye cutting lines, you're going to go and find the intersection between that arc that you just drew and the line going towards the center. So that would be right there on this one, line coming from the center meets the arc, line coming from the center meets the arc, and you're gonna connect all those up just like so to get a sm smaller triangle inside of your bigger triangle. Perfect, that was a sloppy line. Let's try that again. Don't want no sloppy lines around here. Okay, so now we have our triangle inside of another triangle. And you're gonna go into the middle of both triangles, because the middles are the same, and along one of the edges to from the middle of the circle to a side of the triangle, you're going to get that distance and just draw a circle. Easy enough, just like that, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Obviously, better, the better the circle, the better the drawing, but it's okay, we don't need perfection. And then what you're going to do, sorry, I kinda didn't narrate my steps there, but what you're going to do is you're going to take from the middle to the outer triangle. So from the middle to the inner triangle, draw a circle, middle to the outer triangle, draw a circle. And that's really all you need for this pattern. Um, now what we'll do is we'll take our good friend the Sharpie, and what you can start by doing is going right along the outsides. This is a bad Sharpie. Let me grab another one. Alright, we got good Mr. Sharpie now, bad Mr. Sharpie was heated into the trash. 
So we'll take good Mr. Sharpie here and go along all of the edges of the outside triangle, just like so. And a final one right there. All right, now what you can do is you can go along the inside circle, just like that. Although, like here, if you have a point where your inside circle strays into, or strays beyond the inner triangle, just go along the inner triangle line. It, it'll look fine either way. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is where things get a little bit more complicated. Um, what you have to imagine is that, here, let me get my original drawing. So if we're gonna try and replicate this, what you can kind of see is that each point of the triangle is solid, and one way is shorter, and one way is longer. So you can see that's true. We got a short side there, long side, short side, long side. So uh, the short side gets stopped because the long side of the other one is in its way. So we'll do that one first. This short side right here is going to go down until it runs into the long side of this one, which just so happens to line up with the uh, outside circle line. So you're going to go along the outside circle line until you run into the outside triangle, and then you're just going to stop because there's already a line there. But you can go along the inside circle line, go out right to that point, it's really hard to explain. I'm probably doing a terrible job, but whatever. Um, and now you'll see we have just created the long side of this point. So if we have the long side, we're going to make the short side. So the short side's going to go. It's going to stop when it hits the circle, because that is the domain of the long side of the next one. So the next one is going to come along just like that. And then we need the short side. So the short side is going to go like that, but it's going to stop because it ran into the long side of the next triangle, which is going to go up. And just like that, it runs into the short side of the top and you are done. Perfect. So yeah, um, it's a nice design, but if you wanna go more complicated with it, go right ahead. Um, really anything you do with this will look good. So yeah, this has been Wittishins of the Squadcast. Have a lovely day.